science crime scene investigation. You want to know what's a crime? Not understanding heat transfer. What is heat, you might think? Heat. Wait! Wait! No! Lab safety! How could I possibly forget? Gotta roll my sleeves. Heat. Back to heat, now that I'm prepared. Heat. It's hot. It'll burn your flesh, and it's packed with thermal energy. But it moves. Came out of our oven, and onto my body. So which ways does it move? Today, we will learn about three ways in which heat can be moved. Conduction, way number one. Convection, way number two. And finally, radiation. All fascinating topics, so get excited. Conduction, the transfer of heat by direct contact of particles. Conduction. What is it really? Just a word on a piece of cardboard? I don't think so. Let's look at an example. Have you ever cooked on a stove before? Well, how does the heat get from inside the burner to cook your food? Conduction. The particles in the flame pass through the pan. They heat up the particles in the pan and then they pass through to your food to heat it up. Does that make sense? I know it does. Conduction. Now, let's look at another example. I'm going to plug in this popcorn popper and see what happens. Wait, no! Lab safety! Oh, I forgot! I knew I wore these goggles for a reason. Okay, got to roll up my sleeves. Takes a minute, but it's worth it for lab safety. Oh gosh. Okay, I think I'm ready. Oop, I think I gotta tie up my hair. Gee, thanks, Miss Lucas, for keeping me safe. I'm ready now. Okay, I'm gonna plug in this popcorn popper. Okay, now if you can come a little closer, I'll show you what's happening. This metal pan has popcorn kernels in it. And I'm going to let you see it for a minute, but then I'm going to close the top so the heat doesn't get us because of all that heat transfer. Okay, this is what's happening. The electrical energy starts in the outlet. It travels through the cord, and it starts heating up the metal pan. Now, conduction says that heat transfers by contact. So since the popcorn kernels are touching the metal pan, there's conduction. They're transferring the heat. Now I wonder what's going to happen when they heat up the popcorn just right. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to have a snack, some popcorn. Okay, so now all we have to do is wait. The heat's transferring through the, through the cord from the electrical energy and it's heating up the metal pan and that popcorn's going to be ready in no time. What's that called? Conduction. Ooh, I think it's sizzling. Let's see if we can hear it. Ooh, yeah. It's heating up. I just can't wait. Now, while it's popping, let's review. What is heat? Well, like you saw from the oven, heat is hot. What kind of energy is that? Hmm, thermal. That's right. It's thermal energy. That's what heat is. Now, he can transfer in three ways. The first way is conduction. The transfer of heat from the contact in particles. I hear it. Come closer. Our popcorn's popping. is heating up the kernels so hot that they burst open. I even think it's a chemical change because it's cooking. Wow, there's all kinds of science when you cook popcorn. There's thermal energy, electrical energy, there's heat, there's chemical changes, and then I'm gonna eat it. That's gonna be another chemical.
chemical change. Thanks for watching. And number two, convection. The transfer of heat in fluids by the movement of currents. Now that sounds a little confusing to me. So let's think about it for a second. Let's review. What do we say fluids are? Fluids are gases or liquids. They can be two different things. They're anything that flows. So we know that air flows in our houses. So the way that convection works is when hot air gets hot, it rises all the way to the top. And so our attics are really hot. And as it cools, it's going to move back down and our basements stay really, really cool. So it creates a current where the air is moving up and down and all around. And it keeps on going over and over and over again. So that's the current that we're using in convection. Now, what about a pool? We'll think about it in a liquid form. When we heat our pool, the same thing happens. The hot water rises to the top, and then it gets cooled off, and then it moves back down to the bottom. And it goes over and over again. So, we can do this method and pop popcorn, just like we did with conduction. But first, pop quiz, what are fluids? Liquids and gases. Very good. Okay, so let's talk about what's going to happen. We're going to turn on this machine, and we have electrical energy being transferred through our wire and turning into hot air. Oops, watch out. So our hot air is going to warm the popcorn kernel in our little popcorn popper. And if we look really closely, we can see the butter starting to melt from the heat. So we're getting a state change in our butter from solid to liquid as the hot air is warming up these popcorn kernels and blowing them out. Some of them aren't really popping yet. If we feel right here, it's really warm. We can feel all that thermal energy coming through our popcorn powder. Just as I suspected, when done correctly, the hot air pops the popcorn. And we've got some nice melted butter to pour over it. <gasps> Yummy! I can't wait to eat this! <laughs> there you go! Convection! Go. Radiation, the third form of heat transfer. The transfer of heat without matter. It is also transferred by electromagnetic waves. So since radiation doesn't actually use matter, let's think about when we're outside playing football and we start to feel hot. Why is that? Duh, radiation. Or have you ever sat in front of a fireplace and you're getting warm? Hello, radiation again. Now let's think about popcorn. Microwaves also use radiation. Let us put our popcorn in the microwave. Wait, no! Lab safety! Duh. Let me roll up my sleeves. My hair, of course. And my goggles. Alright, so back to popcorn. Before we push start, I just want you to know that the electrical circuit right here in our outlet is going to transfer electrical energy through our microwave and when I press popcorn and then start we're gonna make some popcorn now the electromagnetic waves are hitting our popcorn and it's going to start popping in just a minute pop quiz no pun intended what are our three forms of heat transfer convection conduction and radiation right Convection. Remember, that's when we pop the popcorn in our crazy popper and it starts to pop up. 
conduction was when we had our air popper and we saw the butter melting on the top and the hot air heating up the kernels and popping it into our bowl. Once again, radiation. Think about our microwave heating our popcorn or maybe being outside on a hot sunny day and sweating while we play football. Oh, I hear popping. Do you guys hear popping? There goes those electromagnetic waves heating up our kernels. Conduction, convection, and radiation. review what are the three types of heat transfer number one conduction just like when you rub your hands together and they start to get hot convection the movement of fluid 